America Bud here, and the expansion is live. Level 56 cap is live, up and running. Everybody, they're, they're skirmishing, they're grinding, the grind is back, and they're trying to get maxed out, back to the top. 10 levels this time, from level 46 to 56, the new max level cap. And I just want to show you guys a little progress that I made in the first day. I'm not going to try to kill myself. I also want to give you guys some tips. For one, one thing that helped me and that I noticed is that Crag Tombs number four is great for leveling up. When I'm using uh, an experience potion, I get around 200 and 20 experience points per run. Granted that I have the little 10% XP uh, for buying that pet, the lion adventure kit or something. But uh, a, a good tip is that if you guys buy the 7 day elixir, it'll stack. And there you go, level 47 already. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to be showing you guys my loot, my jewel loot, uh, for each level. All the nature jewels. I'm not going to bother with the water jewels. They're really worthless. And as you can see, I'm just going to show you guys my uh, the experience now I have to get to 40, level 48. Got a little more PvE kills. Yeah, and granted, guys, um, I'm showing you guys you can make a little gold while leveling up even in a place like Crag Tombs, but it's not very good money. I'm just saying it's enough. It's enough to feed your pet. And also, I started out with five Crag Nature Jewels already, so I gained 30 in this level, and I started out with... 16 damage nature jewels so I gained 9 damage nature jewels in this run and the prices are pretty low now you know because everyone's farming crag tombs so just hang on to those nature jewels they'll go back up in price I'm sure they will boom and that's level 48 for you guys uh very a uh, nice explosion for you. But like I was saying with the experience potions, I invested in a 200k. It cost 200,000, around that much from the auction, a 7-day elixir. Totally worth it, guys. And it stacks with your 25% elixir or your 50% uh, elixir. Now, as you can see, I'm going to have to gain 11.5k experience points just to level up. My damage went up a little bit. I got about 7,000 more kills. Show you guys my jewels. Okay, I started out with 30, I mean with about 35 crack nature jewels and 25 damage nature jewels. Now I have 63, so I gained 28 crack nature jewels, and I have 32 damage now. I gained 7 damage nature jewels, gaining to get to level 30, I mean 48. That's not bad. And that's level 49. pretty good and if you guys you having trouble feeding your pet also another nice trick is to have more than one pet perhaps two or three good pets when one of them gets hungry switch switch them out play with them but leave them in your stable and when that one gets tired switch to the new one and just keep going around and you'll never have to spend gold never but even gold that you pick up it gives you 1500 every so often so you can feed your pet and these jewels but you're probably gonna save these and not sell them now cuz if you sell them later I'm sure the price will go up nobody's gonna be farming crack like they are right now 
Okay, we left off with 63 crack nature jewels. Now we have 91. We gained 28 crack nature jewels. Now we have 38 damage jewels. We started off with 32 damage jewels, so we gained 6 damage jewels. All together, if you sold, let's say, the 91 crack nature jewels for 200 gold each, that's dirt cheap, you'd end up with 18.2k. If you sold the 38 damage nature jewels for 600 GP, I mean gold each, you'd end up with 22.8k. And that would add up to 41,000 gold for leveling up three levels. So not bad. Plus, I didn't even count the chests I got, the other jewels I got, the gold I got picked up off the floor. So it's pretty good loot. You guys, make sure you stay tuned in. Make sure you out there grinding away, grinding smarter, not harder. Subscribe down below, comment down below, like the video, and as always, see you next time.